Hi, my name is Kristen Baird, and I'm the Violin Teaching Artist with the Floral Orchestra. In this video today, we're going to learn how to play a one octave D major scale starting on the open D string on violin. There's a handout you can download that will follow along with this video in case you'd like to see what we're doing written out in front of you. I know that helps me a lot. And our objectives for today, I can play a one octave D major scale and arpeggio starting on the open D string. I can sing a D major scale and arpeggio using note names, and I can play F sharp and C sharp in tune using a high second finger. So because we're playing a D major scale, I'm going to turn on a D drone, as well as a metronome at 60 beats per minute. So what is a scale? That could be, uh, might be a word you've never heard before. A scale is when our notes follow along one after another without any skips. So a D major scale is gonna start on D. Let's sing a D major scale together. Here's our pitch. D, ready, go. D, E, F sharp, G, a, B, C sharp, D, and back down. C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D. All right, so what is an arpeggio? It's kind of a funky word, but kind of fun to say. Uh, an arpeggio is when you skip every other note and play only the first, third, and fifth notes of a scale. So a D major arpeggio would be Sing D, D, skip E, go to F sharp, skip G, go to A, and then D, back down, A, F sharp, D. All right, now that we can sing and say the note names, let's try playing our D major one octave scale and arpeggio uh, again. that need a little extra tend to love and care. If you noticed, I put a heart under certain notes. Um, that's my way of showing those are the notes that usually need a little bit more attention. And those notes are F sharp and C sharp because they are high twos. And in the music, as you can see, I wrote that with an arrow up and then the number two. 
A high two is when your second finger is next to your third finger. It is called high two because the closer your finger is to your nose, the higher the pitch. So that means F sharp, for example, is a high two on the D string. So if I play D, first finger, E, F sharp with my second finger, and then G. Notice how my two, this guy, F sharp, is right next to my third finger. That's considered high two. Now eventually, you'll learn a low two that's back here, but you don't need to worry about that today because today we're just doing high two. So D, E, F sharp, and G. Now if I put my finger perfectly in between here, that is gonna sound funky. This is what that sounds like. Kind of makes you uh, feel like you bit into a lemon or something, a little sour. Um, so let's play again with the two that we want. This is what we want to hear. Let's go back to what we don't want. That's what we don't want. We want to keep that two nice and snug next to three. All right, and that also goes for your second finger when you go over to the A string, because if I play my open A, B, C sharp, and then D. So again, you can notice on the A string, my two, my C sharp, and my D right next to each other. So let's play your D major scale and arpeggio again, making sure that your second and third fingers are holding tight onto each other. second finger because if your finger is closer this way next to your three the pitch closer to your nose um, the pitch is going to be higher so all right last but not least let's play our D major scale and arpeggio for one final time and this time I want you to use your eyes to look at your fingers and make sure your second finger is behaving himself and I want you to use your ears to listen and see if you're playing the right pitch that you're hearing from the video. And if you are, then I want you to ask yourself, what does it feel like to play that correctly? So I want you to use your eyes and your ears to listen and also remember what it feels like to play correctly.
job. I'm very proud of you sticking, th uh, sticking through this video and I hope it helps and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Alrighty, bye.